crystal alone. Hello. And it looks like we got Cancel Up May in here and ready to introduce his game. Uh, yes. Before I introduce, I will reset so you can hear the only music that this game will have. And then I will tell... I'll let the music speak for itself. Okay, what year is this game from, just by the way? Uh, let's see. Uh, 1990. Yep. Yep, this is from 1990. Uh, Fisher Price had three games on the NES. Uh, this is one of them, the best one. The hottest speed game of 2017. Um, a bunch of us did this as an April Fool's joke, and we have taken off with it, so yes, that's the thing. But, um, this game has no music, just sound effects, so you get to hear my soothing voice for hopefully the next 15 minutes. And, um, I am switching my palette on my NES to the Play Choice 10 palette for this. That's how special this is going to be. So, um, if you're ready, um, I can go ahead. I believe we're ready whenever. Okay, I will let you, um, I think, I don't know if you're using my timer or not, but I have a timer up. I'll tell you when it starts. Three, two, one, go. Okay. The object is we have to go to all the houses to put the fire out. But before we go to a house, we have a kitty cat. We're going to rescue him. You know. Yep. And that's uh, stage one. Or one one. So this is one two. And uh, we're going through a little maze. Now look. We get to go to a house now. Yeah. Now the key RNG to this game is the order the windows open. Um, yeah, we saved the animals, <laughs> but, um, you don't want the how the window on the right to open first, because that's like the worst thing that can happen RNG wise, where all the time goes in this. So that happens a bit. And if you notice, we're drifting as we turn. So yes, uh, this is Fast and the Furious Firehouse Edition. Now you would think, okay, this is a firehouse to rescue. Why aren't these houses on fire? Well, they are. If you've seen Talladega Nights, when Ricky Bobby was on fire, you know exactly the type of fire we're talking about. So, that, it, that there is a fire. Whether you see it or not, it is there. So, um, yeah, gotta help him out. So, uh, we are on to 1-4. Things do get complicated later, but right now it's just a concept of going from point A to point B. Now, this has four windows. This is where you can lose the most time. And we're getting, like, the worst RNG possible. Well, second worst. That is correct. This uses this uses uh, the Fisher-Price Little People, if you played with those toys when you were a kid. Okay, that is stage one. We're going to level two now. Okay, the maces are a little bigger. Get used to uh, these patterns of the mazes. They won't change again, but there's variations. Uh, all mazes have two houses now. And once again, we're getting bad RNG. Go figure. Any regular on my stream will know how good my RNG is. Yep. And the car goes so slow after you rescue that last person. So now we have another house we're going to. And that is right down here. Yeah, we're saving them all, Lava. We're saving everybody. Okay. Oh, good RNG. And that was a frame-perfect execution of getting that ladder to rescue that person. That was frame-perfect. What it means, absolutely nothing. Good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, 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 it was it was hard. Whew. Okay. So here we go with some drifting. Yeah. Get around those corners. Yeah. 
And we got the worst RNG once again. Yep. Yeah, now we gotta wait slowly for the fire truck. If you want, a fire trap is a way to go off screen, more or less. Uh, don't really look like a truck. Okay, we go down here to this house. Uh, yes, it's a little bit out of sync. Nothing's perfect. So we'll roll with what we got. And it's like a ASMR for your eardrums, isn't it, Winter? And nice Tiny Tunes, by the way. That was really entertaining. I played the Game Boy version, and I really enjoyed that one casually. Okay, so now this is the biggest maze. Pretty straightforward right now. It won't be by the time we get to stage four. Hey, oh, we overshot that one. Sorry, buddy. You still made it, though. You did not fall and break your plastic legs. And look at this RNG. This is great. I feel like I'm playing Legend of Zelda with this bad RNG. Okay. Now we have another house to get to. And that will be right down here. It's a great time for donations if we have any. Do we have any at the moment? We do not, but we do have this great, uh, this great uh, foundation to support. So please do. Yes, definitely. I mean, do also have some donations and things that have not been met yet. So definitely still, uh, uh, if you want to get those met, you definitely want to get there. They still have. Uh, some things for Castlevania Area of Sorrow, as well as Majora's Mask is funny. Um, Paper Mario, Star Fox 64. It's all a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Okay, and all the polls going on, too. Sorry. Go. Oh, that's right. Well, that was level two. Um, yeah, definitely get those donations in. Now, level three is the same exact May set, except it's time. But since we already know how to get through it, the time's not an issue yet. That was good RNG. But, you know, if I was going for a PB attempt, this would have reset a long time ago. Oh, it gets worse, Winter Bit. Just wait. If you think a time limit's bad, just wait till you see level four. The record for this game is 12, a spark over, and I think I have like a 1230, something like that, but um, there's a good chance this won't be a 12 minute run. You'll see why by the end of it. Um, I'm not going to spoil it yet, but um, they really throw some stuff at you in the fourth stage. And we get some more drifting, Fast and the Furious fire engines again. Yep. Yeah, there's a time limit, man. I don't know why Spaz, but yeah, there's a time limit for saving them. Look at this. Good RNG there, too. Oh, you can sort of finish it, Astral, but like I said, you'll... Stage 4 is where this game really throws some stuff at you. It's like, you know, it's designed for kids to be, like, you know, very young kids, but level four can really troll. It trolls me, and I'm 38, 37 years old, so I can just imagine what this would do to the seven-year-old me back in the day. <laughs> or eight-year-old me. Okay. This maze again. Yeah, so I will say that we are about three hours away from the Borderlands 2 play, and there is the donation incentive for that. So uh, do the, uh, there is a seventy-five, um, there's a seventy-five dollar donation goal for doing the face McShooty quest in Borderlands 2. So you want to see that done? You got to get those donations in for that. And yeah, remember to fire. Yeah, remember Astral, there's fire. Just imagine Ricky Bobby from Talladega Night. 
it's there. Yeah. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to watch that movie, and then we'll just leave it at that. Okay, and while talking about donations, we just got a $20 donation from Anonymous. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you, Anonymous. Okay, we are approaching level four. Here's the twist. Besides Snake killing Dumbledore. Um, the major twist to this, they throw keys that are randomly generated on the map that you have to find before you can unlock the windows, and they can literally be anywhere. And as you can see, we're getting trolled already. The key is all the way right here. Yep. So we had to go out of our way for that key. So you can just imagine what's going to happen on the bigger mazes. Rosebud. Okay, that's another spoiler. Some of you might be too young to know that one. Just showed my age right there. Again. Okay. Whoa, we, did we get this key? No, we did not get this key. I totally almost forgot it. Where is it? Where's the key? There it is. That's the key to this game, is to get the keys. Great. Yes. <laughs> I I don't have much for this. There really isn't much I can do with this. <laughs> I am literally driving a plastic fire truck around and rescuing little people. I mean, the Fisher Price little people, you know, toys. I mean, that's what we're rescuing. Hey. I have. To make... Huh? Go ahead. You're you're the one who put this game up. You, you offered to play this, not. <laughs> oh, I know, and I, I regret nothing about my decision. I'm very happy with it. And I'm enjoying what's happening in chat now. And if people say saved every time you save someone. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is better than any expectation I had for this. Yes, chat is loving this game, actually. Which is what I expected from a game like this, honestly. People love uh, low qual uh, I'm sorry, high quality games like this. Oh, yes. I mean, you know, I mean, everybody's heard of Fortnite, but have you heard of Fisher Price Firehouse Rescue? Come on now. Oh, we need the key. I totally forgot it because I was memeing. Where? Oh, there it is. See, you don't want to meme and drive, folks. It's uh, bad. Okay. Oh, no, they're saved. It wasn't saved at first. Now it's saved. Now here comes the hardest map. So... I know the keys are created, uh, are randomly generated, but the mazes, uh, the mazes that you're getting from house to house, is that the same every time? Yes, yeah, the mazes are the same. Yeah, that never changes. But where the keys can be, and now this one is going to be pushing it, because we have to go all the way around again, because that was like one of the worst key spots you can get. But we're going to make it to this house in time. And if for some reason we run out of time, we just have to do this level again. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Our time resets after this house anyway. Yeah, whoever designed these roads did not have safety in mind. Um, they didn't follow any OSHA guidelines. They probably didn't call three days before they digged either. I mean, this is... Really rough. That's why there's all these fires. Yeah, it's a huge fire hazard to have these mazes for houses. Like, yeah. this is not just terrible for fires, terrible for mail as well. Like, 
Oh, and and your pizza would be cold by the time it got there. Yeah, yeah, delivery is bad. This is just not a good town to live in. Okay, we got four more people to save, and we will be at the end of the run. Time is coming up when I exit the screen and become a chief. And we're getting the worst RNG possible, so here we go again. Okay, that's not bad then. Okay. Oh, we're going to be right at 14 minutes, a minute underestimate. Yay. And we are a chief, and that's time. 1357, which isn't bad for a no-reset scenario. And we have saved everybody. All the little people were saved. We are a chief. You know what we get for a promotion? We get a this game in box. I don't know which is worse, um, but yeah. But yeah, that's uh, Fisher Price Firehouse Rescue. Um, it was the hottest game of 2017, and it could still be a hot game. And thank you for uh, letting me run this game here. Uh, it was fun. It was a good time and all that good stuff. But um, unless uh, you want me to drag this out a little longer and torture people, uh, it's about all I got. I, I just want a hard zoom in on, on that fireman's face. Okay. That's all I want. <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead. I can zoom. I can change the color. We'll go there. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the, oh purple right there. Yeah, purple's epic. Yeah, I got one of those palette switches, and I can really change. Yeah, zoom in on that face, please. Yeah, that's a beautiful face right there. I mean, somebody should emote that, um, and you can credit me for that. Uh, all me, please. Um, but yes, somebody make an emote out of that. Somebody would appreciate it. And people would probably sub to you. Wink, wink. But uh, yeah, thanks for everybody who's donated so far in the charity. And keep them coming in. Get all these incentives in, guys. It's important. We got to, you know, they had some very unfortunate stuff happen in California. We got to help them out. We got to help everybody out. So, you know, that's what speedrunners do. We help people out. Definitely. So, that's it for me, guys, and uh, thank you all. I am, I've am i been up all night, so my butt's going to bed. And uh, you all, and here's the music one more time for y'all. And on that note, I shall go to bed, and I will see you all later. Thank you, Cantaloupe, me. Thank you.